Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of planes using the Solid Edge software. Coming to the problem statement, a regular pentagonal lamina of 25 mm side is resting on one of its corners on HP, while the side opposite to this corner touches VP. If the lamina makes an angle of 60 degrees with HP, draw its projections and find the distance of the corner from the edge opposite to it in VP. So we can arrive at a set of conclusions from this problem statement. So the first thing is the given type of plane here is a pentagonal lamina and the resting condition is it is resting on one of its corners. So initially we need to have a corner of a pentagon towards the right hand side of the observer. And next coming to the inclination with respect to the HP. So the entire surface is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees with HP. And then coming to the inclination with respect to the VP. So with respect to the VP, there is no angle given to us, but a condition telling that the side opposite to the corner on which it is resting is touching VP. So with this, we need to start the solution for this problem. So we'll begin by drawing the XY line of thickness 0.18 mm. So let us draw a line of any arbitrary length and annotate this line as X and Y. This is X and this is Y and also the planes VP and HP. So now we will draw the top view of the pentagon which is in the HP. So first we will draw the pentagon and then we will align it as per the given condition. So the edge measures 25 mm and the next angle is 72. 25 72 into 2 25 72 into 3 25 and the next angle will be 72 into 4 so this completes the construction of the pentagonal lamina so now we will align this pentagonal lamina as per our condition so we will select the entire pentagonal lamina and select rotate ensure the copy is off so now we will select one point of rotation and next point of rotation is the midpoint of the opposite edge. So as per the given condition, it should be resting on one of its corners. So this is the condition where the pentagon is resting on one of its corners towards the right hand side. So now we will move this pentagon to a comfortable position so that drawing the projection lines becomes easy. We will annotate the pentagon starting from the corner on which it is resting. So this is corner A, this is corner B, corner C, corner D and corner E. So now we shall draw the projection lines from each of the corners to obtain the front view. So we shall select a line of thickness 0.13 mm. So we will draw the projection line from corner A, from corner B through corner E touching the XY line, then from corner C through corner D touching the XY line. So we will use the trim option to trim the portion of the XY line to get the front view. Select the line of thickness 0.50 mm. So end point of this projection line to the end point of this projection line and next to the end point of this projection line. So this completes the front view of the pentagonal lamina resting on one of its corners on HP. So this is corner A dash which is visible to the observer and here the corner B is visible first. The corner E is not visible, so E dash inside the bracket. And similarly here, corner C dash is visible, while the corner D dash is not visible, so it is inside the bracket. So this completes the front view of the pentagonal lamina. So now this lamina makes an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the HP. So what we can do is, we shall select the front view of this lamina along with the annotations and then place the lamina by selecting the move option ensure the copy is on so this is the point of movement and from this point we shall place this entire lamina on the xy line initially now we shall rotate this lamina at an angle of 60 degrees so this is the first point of rotation and this is the second point of rotation 
and the angle of inclination can be entered as 60 degrees with respect to the HP so you can just indicate the direction as shown so this is the inclination so now we can just measure the angle using the dimension and the angle option in the dimension tool so this line and this line so this is 60 degrees now we shall draw the top view of this inclined pentagonal lamina select the projection line of thickness 0.13 so from corner c dash d dash draw a vertical line from corner b dash a dash draw a vertical line and then from corner a dash draw a vertical line similarly draw the horizontal projection lines from corner a from corner b intersect it at the vertical projection line then similarly from corner c corner d and then from corner e so now we shall draw the front view of the pentagon by selecting a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so end point end point gives us the edge c and d and next this point of intersection is going to give us the corner b and this end point is going to give us the corner a and this end point is going to give us the corner e and back to the corner d so we will annotate the front uh, sorry the top view a b c d and corner e we shall trim the projection lines which is not required to us okay so this completes the pentagon top view when it is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane now as per the problem statement the edge opposite to the corner on which it is resting so it is resting on the corner a and the edge opposite to that corner is the edge CD and this edge CD is touching VP so with this condition we shall incline the pentagonal lamina so we shall select the pentagonal lamina which is distorted along with the annotations and then we shall move this ensure the copy is on so before moving this uh, just deselect and ensure that the polygon is made rigid so select all the sides of the polygon and then make it a rigid set till accept and the polygon becomes rigid so now we shall select the polygon and move that so that we get the inclination with respect to the VP so select it along with the annotations now go for the move option and keeping the point D as the point of uh, moment place the point D on the reference line because it is touching VP correct and now we shall go for the rotate option ensure the copy is off first point of rotation second point of rotation rotate it in such a way that the edge opposite to the corner that is corner A is touching VP okay so now as we already know that all the annotations pertaining to the top view shall be below the XY line and those pertaining to the front view shall be above the XY line so please ensure that the annotations are lying below the XY line so now select the line option and then select the projection line of thickness 0.13 mm and draw the horizontal projections and draw the vertical projection lines so corner A is on VP and then corner E will be on this projection line similarly corner B is here locate the corner C and D okay so now we shall complete the pentagon in the front view so select a line of thickness 0.50 mm so this is the corner A so corner A this is the corner B corner C corner D corner E and then from E to corner A using the trim option trim the projection lines which is not required to us correct so this completes the problem statement so now we shall just finish it by annotating the corners so this is corner D dash or D prime and this is corner C dash and this is the corner B dash while this is the corner E dash and this is the corner A dash 
So just use the zoom options to check if the two lines are meeting perfectly. Yes, so it is perfect. So now we shall uh, indicate the direction of the projection lines by using the leader options in the annotation menu. Select the properties, change the color of the arrowhead to black, click OK and start drawing the directions of the projection lines. So these are all uh, downwards, so indicate downward direction. Okay, so with this we complete the problem statement. So to sum up, we have got a pentagonal lamina resting on one of its corners and the edge opposite to that corner is touching VP and also the entire lamina is making an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane that is HP. So this is the solution for the given problem statement. So how do we check the answer? So it is resting on one of the corner A initially. So here also it is resting on one of its corner A. And also it is such that the edge opposite the corner is touching VP. And there is one more part of the question to find the distance of the corner from the edge opposite to it in the vertical plane. So this is the vertical plane. So how do we measure that distance? So we'll select the distance option and then select this, select this line. Okay, so this is the distance of the corner A dash from the edge opposite to it on which it is resting and this is the distance of this corner a dash in the vertical plane so use the smart dimension and show the dimension of any one side of the pentagon that is 25 mm so with this we complete the problem statement thank you all for watching